just wanted to just wanted to quickly show you guys the trail to the plane. People set up these like strings to hold on to to get through this like swampy bog. It's almost like uh, walking through your own like jungle maze. It's pretty amazing. So I passed a few people and they said the plane is a few minutes up. But a few minutes would probably be if you were on dry land. And obviously, this is not dry land. So I'm gonna do my best to not get any more wet or muddy, but I'm pretty sure I will. Good afternoon you guys. So today I'm in Tofino, BC. It's located on Vancouver Island. Um, and I'm here at this Kanzo Bomber World War II plane crash site. So in uh, February 1945, there was a crew of 12, 12 passengers that were um, flying from the Tofino airport over to another site. And uh, mind you, this is World War II era. So this is, yeah, February 1945. Um, so they had a couple, uh, they had a couple bombs on board because um, they used those bombs to detonate any enemy subs they saw. So anyway, they were heading to another location on the island, and one of the engines blew out, and so the pilot tried to turn around back to the airport, and he, they weren't able to make it. So they had to, they ended up just crashing here in the woods. Um, the miraculous thing is, though, that no one died. So they built the airport nearby basically um, as a result of the Pearl Harbor bombings. They, they got rescued uh, within 11 hours of, of crashing. And um, they had to blow up or detonate the bombs they had on board because they couldn't carry them back with them. So, yeah, anyway, it's an amazing history. Let's go check it out. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, I made it up the path to the actual plane. This is unbelievable. Look how big that wing is. So much of the plane is still intact, considering it's been here since 1945. Check it out. Here's the engine. One of the engines blew out. The other engine was fine. So I'm not sure if this is the bad engine or the good one. But still, it's pretty amazing. Oh yes, I will be. <laughs> up here, up here beside where you were. So walking up to this, the plane looks pretty good size, but when you get close to it, this thing is massive. So yeah, here's the other side, the other wing. Here's the other engine. Here's inside, you guys. Wow. Check this out.
Wow. We actually come inside this thing. It's super long. Pretty amazing, you guys. Never been inside a abandoned plane before, so it's really surreal. Especially one from 1945. Holy crap. That's a pretty big drop, though, if you fall. some amazing people out here though there's been so many people checking it out here with me um, that's kind of what I like like it's nice going to abandoned places and meeting people and just kind of hearing what their story is where they're from and all that today's been pretty different because there's so many people here probably the most people I've seen at abandoned place before so you know it makes it hard to film sometimes but you know it's kind of cool meeting everybody Too fast. Thanks, Brooke. Well, look at the engine. Yeah, Oh, Yeah, this is Teller Jay's. This is Yeah, this is I like that. <laughs> oh, I really like that one. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like I said, the trail to get here is not the easiest. I'm gonna go back and see the other side and then get out of here because it's a long truck out. here all the time. So my guess is this is probably like, I don't know, like 200, 250 feet long. It's massive. I don't know, it's weird nowadays because like, we're a little bit here now. I know, it's not looking too good. So this, I was up, I was up inside that part and I obviously didn't go down here. You can see right through it, but it's still pretty amazing up here. And I'm assuming that this section right here, if this huge tree wasn't stopping it, this plane would probably fall back down the hill. Because this is the only thing that's really holding it up. So yeah, here's a couple other pieces of the plane. Looks like this must, that might have been part of maybe the outer fuselage of the plane or something. It's pretty amazing. But yeah, the plane came obviously from that direction, came this way, through the trees. <laughs> and it looks like that's a blue jay. Or Wow, 
crazy. Hmm. Metal chunk there. So here's a little sign just kind of talking about it. Pretty accurate well, to what I was saying. I and then someone, someone left a shoe. So yeah, like I said, there's tons of pieces of the plane strewn about all over here. So here's a piece. Yeah, the plane is up, obviously up there. And just, it must have taken down some tops of some of these trees when it flew or when it crashed in. Pretty amazing. After they crashed, they had a, a couple bombs on the plane. And obviously they were huge and heavy and they couldn't bring them with them. So instead of hauling out all these bombs through the woods, they decided just to detonate the bombs. So there's actually a few different bomb sites here where they blew up the bombs. Check it out. So yeah, now it looks like just like a pond, but when there's no water in here, it's probably easier to tell. But yeah, this is one of the sites they just detonated one of the bombs. So it's like a huge crater. Now it just looks like a normal pond, but yep. <laughs> this is definitely one of the detonation sites. Pretty, pretty freaking cool, must say. All right, guys, I've had an amazing time up here. It's been a blast, but I have a long trek out through the mud, so I'm gonna get going. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Um, and again, uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, yeah, so far this whole couple days I'm over here, I've uh, filmed about three or four videos. So it's been a very productive, very fun uh, weekend. So anyway, thanks again. And again, this was the Tofino BC World War II bomber titled the Canzo Bomber. And yeah, so yeah, if you're ever over here, check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. All right, guys, take care. Live, explore, travel, and have a good one.